Well, it's great to be here with Professor Doug Hilton from the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute, the WE High, uh, at Parliament House in Canberra during Budget Week, and to have the chance to respond to the many hundreds of letters, uh, emails, tweets, and even a song uh, with a, an accompanying film clip, I think, set in a lab uh, about the Dollars for Discoveries campaign. Uh, the campaign really, I think, showed the passion that the medical research sector has for the work that they do, and I think really lifted the profile of the sector in the broader community. Uh, by now, though, you will have seen that there have been no cuts to medical research funding in this year's budget. Indeed, expenditure on medical research through the NHMRC continues at its record levels, as well as a rollout of hundreds of millions of dollars of capital projects around the country to build new medical research infrastructure. This is an incredibly exciting time to be working in health and medical research. Uh, the mapping of the human genome, our increasing capacity for IT means that we're expanding our frontiers of knowledge in a way <coughs> that 10 years ago we just couldn't have imagined. As well as this, there's a broad health reform process underway at a national level. This will mean better cooperation between hospitals, medical research institutes and universities. It means the Commonwealth is stepping up to fund 50% of research costs in hospitals for the first time. There are a range of things that we know are going to mean that medical research has a very, very bright future in this country. I've been taking soundings now from the sector for a few months about the need for a strategic review on medical research. It's 13 years now since the Wills Review that charted a course from then in 98 to 2010. We know that these challenges that I've talked about and more, but the opportunities as well, mean that it's important that we approach the question of medical research and the question of medical research funding in the most strategic way possible. So this, this week uh, I'm announcing that over the coming weeks I propose to consult closely uh, with the sector about terms of reference for that review and about the sort of personnel we want overseeing the review as well. Uh, by the middle of the year, in June or July, we'll be in a position to announce those terms of reference and the panel that we're appointing to oversee the review. Hopefully we'll have that review in place by the middle of next year. That broad strategic direction combined with your passion and your expertise, I'm confident will mean that in the coming decades, we'll get the same benefits in terms of the health of the Australian community that we came to expect over the past few decades. Thanks very much again for your incredible work that you do day in, day out as medical researchers. And thanks for the campaign that you've been a part of over the last few weeks to really raise the profile and the importance of medical research in the broader community's mind. So over to you, Doug. Thanks, Mark. Uh, we're absolutely delighted with that outcome. Um, the sector and the community are really grateful for your support and for the fact that this government has continued to fund medical research at uh, the level it, that, that we've had over the last few years. I think that's really important to the community and the campaign really showed that. Um, we're very excited about the idea of, of a review. There are a lot of important things to get right in the next decade, not only improving diagnosis, prevention and treatment of disease, but making sure that those benefits can uh, be rolled out to the whole community and not just parts of the community. So thanks again for your support. We're, we're really delighted. Good stuff.